Hi, I'm Charles Ellis, uh, President of Fort Mose Historical Society. The reconstruction project will really expand the visitorship, and that's just how important it is because we're currently right now with the jazz and blues coming online for the last two years, uh, we have saw an increase in visitorship, probably over 30-40%. Introducing the reconstruction of the fort, that's going to really increase it. So I think it'll probably increase the visitorship three to four times over what it currently is already. Right now, when, you, when we think about the Jazz and Blues series, uh, it has really created an interest uh, to Fort Mose and also the Fort Mose story. The Fort Mose story is such a powerful story. Uh, and so when folks came out here and we started to talk to them about the Fort Mose Historical Society, uh, they were so impressed with the story and folks said, I never knew it was here. Uh, this is my first time here. And having the Jazz and Blues series event here has really made a big impact on the, the visitorship here at uh, Fort Mose. You know, I always say that, uh, you know, if it doesn't say something about the story, it doesn't talk about the story, then we don't need to publish it or talk about it. It has to be that. The publication will certainly enhance the visitorship, also enhance the educational uh, to the schools. Uh, it certainly can be a product that we can talk about when we bring the kids out here on our signature event, which is a flight to freedom. So that's going to be a big addition to telling the story for Fort Mose. When I look at the story of Fort Mose and I look at uh, the opportunities that has availed myself as well as the society, uh, it has created a, an awareness that I had never thought of before. When I first heard about Fort Mose and also heard about the story itself, I'm almost like some of the visitors that come today out here and visit the park and go through the trail and see the various uh, things that the individuals had to go through to make that journey. Uh, it gives me goosebumps to think about that journey. Uh, today, I, I have a, a real fond, uh, deep passion uh, for folks that made that journey. Because when I walk out on the venue today and walk on those grounds and think about what they had to go through uh, and also think about the journey itself and also think about how it impacted their lives and their loved ones. But one thing that they all had in common was that there was one common goal and that is for freedom. And so that is the same thing that happens today. Uh, freedom is a very precious commodity to anyone. And being here at Fort Mose has really demonstrated to me that this is a story that must be told. And it's a story I think that is fitting for uh, America or for any country uh, today. Mm -hmm.